Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another tutorial, a much requested tutorial on Rugby Challenge 4 and how to mod the game and make it look incredible. Much like my EA Rugby 08 tutorials which have been very successful and helped a lot of people out, today I am showing you how to mod Rugby Challenge 4 for the PC in the very, very simplest way. An all-in-one download, no individual files, just one download into your folder and load up the game. So before we get into today's video, please do drop a like if you enjoy this content. Of course, leave a comment down below, especially if you have any questions or problems. I'll do my best to answer them. You can also contact me on Instagram or Twitter. Links are in the description and I'll be more than happy to help. And of course, you can also come to the fantastic rugby forum here where there's lots and lots of intelligent people who'll be able to answer your questions and of course if you haven't already please move that subscribe button so let's get straight into this video and show you the rugby forum here you will want to head over to the rugby video games and app section and as always this is your hub for all things modding and all things rugby video game related. There is a fantastic community on here. Whether you're in need of something for Rugby 08, Rugby Union Team Manager, Rugby Challenge, it's all here and there are some incredible people on this forum. And before we get into it, I'm gonna shout them all out because they deserve all the credit in the world. They're a bunch of fantastic guys who are incredible and do all of the hard work behind the scenes. Unfortunately, I'm not as smart as them in terms of creating these mods and things, so they all deserve a shout out. So first off, we're gonna head over to the kit tracker, which is made by Noah underscore Joe, and that is where all of the mods are kept up to date, and you can keep track of what kits have been done and what haven't and what are in progress. But the main guys we need to shout out are Colossus, BC Trackboy 11, Pio, Edinburgh underscore Gunner, Hofner, and um, yeah, that is it really. They are the main guys behind it, and they all have their own threads in the rugby forum for you to check out. But I just wanted to shout those guys out. Um, we've also got the French community on Discord who have provided a lot of the French teams. So big shout out to those guys as well. But yeah, we're going to get straight into it now. Like I said, big shout out to those guys. They do all of the hard work. But let's get into the modding and show you guys how to get your Rugby Challenge 4 looking incredible. So you want to head over to the Rugby Challenge series. Now it is not there currently because I'm waiting for, to finish this tutorial so that I can create the thread. But you will find a thread here that will probably be named something like Rugby Challenge 4, all mods, all in one download and tutorial. And on there, you'll see a link to three different mods. So uh, I'll go over to my downloads here, and these will be the three files to choose from. The only difference is the main menu that you get. So you can choose to have the original menu. You can choose to have a Northern Hemisphere style menu and you can choose to have a Southern Hemisphere style menu, all created by Colossus. Um, so that will be your choice. There will be three of them there for you to pick. Um, you'll download whichever one you choose and you'll end up with a zip file like this. So once that is there, all you need to do is right click on the zip file and un unzip it and extract it. I have FreeArc as my zipping software, but you can use any you like. Just do a quick Google search and search for unzipping software or whatever whatever it is you want to search. But yeah, you'll just click on it and extract here. And then that will give you one of these folders. So let's go, for example, uh, the Northern Hemisphere. Once you click on it, you'll have two folders here. One is your database, which is the main hub so to speak of everything which is a bit more technical so this is the one again created by Colossus which has already got the unlocked stadiums in some different additions to the kits mainly uh, the collars and things like that 
so that is there and then the second folder is your packs folder now this is the main bulk of it all of these files need to be copied into your rugby challenge 4 so let's start with the database to begin with so if you right click on that and click copy and then we'll head over to my PC here now I always struggle to find this folder so I just do a quick search up here rugby challenge 4 like you see um, and you'll be able to find it but I have got it quick linked over here so we'll head here and you'll get this folder here head to saved save games profile this one here which is whatever your profile folder number is double click on that there you'll see your original database just click based and replace the file in this destination so it's as simple as that for the database now the next thing you will want to do is head to the packs folder that you've downloaded and you're going to want to copy all of these every single one of them select them copy just make sure you've got them all yes i have then we will want to head over to your PC once again I always go through Windows program files look for Steam Steam apps common choose rugby challenge 4 and you'll want rugby content and packs and you'll be great uh, greeted sorry with this folder here just right click and paste they will now paste into your folder and there we have it it's as simple as that I will now head over to my main game to show you guys what it looks like but it's as simple as that it really is so here we go, the modded Rugby Challenge 4. This is my main menu mod, as I mentioned, it is the Northern Hemisphere. So you've got Sexton, Dupont, Itoji, Halfpenny, Hog and Monte Ioni there. Looking absolutely fabulous. And like I said, there's three different choices for you, whichever one you want. Uh, if we head into single matches, Rugby 15s, and I will show off what we have here. So here we go, all of the badges are in place, all of the kits are in place and looking absolutely spectacular. There's still a couple to do. Um, England there, Fiji obviously already in game, France, Georgia. Sometimes it comes up a bit fuzzy but just give it a few seconds and then it will load in looking spectacular. Um, we've got all the Super Rugby, the Mitre 10 kits are all there, all the logos of all the competitions, everything's looking spectacular. The Premiership is yet to be updated to 2020-2021. Uh, we've got the top 14, just going through a few of each here to show you. Guinness Pro 14, Pro D2. NRC, the Curry Cup, and there's a couple of created teams in here as well to keep an eye on, but that is the main gist of it. There's Japan, everything's looking spectacular. If I go into um, a game here, go into the match settings and as you can see all of the stadiums have been unlocked so if I go through them here show you a couple so the Aviva is ready to be used that has been unlocked and there's plenty of others as well just adds that extra bit to the game but yeah it's all looking absolutely spectacular let's quickly fire up a game here just to show you what it looks like as you can see here, Japan looking absolutely incredible. As are Argentina at the Japan Stadium. You can see both teams there lining up for the national anthems. 
But yeah, looking absolutely fabulous in game and all of the mods have been replicated to an incredible level. Look at that Japan kit. And I'm just going to finish off this tutorial by saying keep an eye on the thread once I have it here on the rugby forum in the rugby challenge series discussion because I will try my very best to update these folders probably monthly. Um, obviously the game is not completely modded yet. There's several teams that have yet to be been done. So uh, once they are, I'll keep adding them to these folders and update them probably, like I said, once a month, depending on how things go. So yeah, just keep an eye on the thread and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do drop a like if you have, it really helps out the channel. Like I mentioned at the start, if you have any problems, please do leave a comment down below with your questions. I'll do my best to answer them. And if not, please do DM me on Instagram or Twitter. Links are in the description below. I'll do my best to help. And obviously, if not, I'll probably direct you in the way of the rugby forum and the fantastic guys over here. I'll get back to all of the comments. And of course, if you haven't already, please move that subscribe button. I hope this has helped and I'll see you in the virtual scrum.